Hello, I'm happy to present a true classic, an account written by one of the very few Westerners allowed into Japan during the Tokugawa period. The book I have here is a Dutch edition of Engelbert Kempfer's book, History of Japan, published in Amsterdam in 1729. Engelbert Kempfer was a German physician naturalist and explorer, best known for his travels to Persia, India and Southeast Asia in the late 17th century. After being appointed ship's doctor for the VOC, the Dutch East India Company, he came to Japan in 1690 as a physician for the Dutch trading post in Nagasaki. During his stay until October 1692, he twice visited the shogun in Edo, together with the head of the Dutch trading post. As a keen observer, he documented Japan's history, society, politics, religion, and the local flora and fauna. Kempfer's book, History of Japan, was published 11 years after his death. The book is an essential source of information on Japan's history, culture and geography during the 17th century. It was one of the earliest Western works on Japan to be widely read and translated, and it was the most comprehensive European account of Japan published. Different from those written before, which had depicted the country more as an imaginary world. It is considered one of the most significant works on Japan studies. In addition to his contributions to natural history and geography, Kempfer made also significant contributions to medicine. He was the first Westerner to describe the symptoms of dysentery and he also wrote extensively on the medical properties of plants, particularly those found in Asia. Interesting for us Shiatsu practitioners, there is attached to the history of Japan an appendix on moxa. Kempfer notes the everyday use of moxa and its purpose as preventative and curative medicine. In his own words, and, I, and here I quote, the intent of burning with moxa is either to prevent or to cure disease, but it is more particularly recommended by the physicians as a preventative medicine for which reason they advise the healthy more than the sick people to use it. About the practitioners he notes the following. The practitioners whose business it is to perform moxa are called by the Japanese the feeling people or according to the literal sense of the word people that penetrate with a touch because before applying moxa, they always feel about and examine the part which the moxa is to be applied to." End quote. There is also another appendix related to acupuncture. Here Kempfer's description focuses, among other things, on senki, on the stagnation of ki in the abdominal area. He also describes, for example, nine tubos on the abdomen where stagnation can be released. So please go to the Shiatsu Resources homepage for more information and much, much more.